Hello everyone, this is Anton again, and I have a new update for the paper from Quirk Logic. It's version 1.1.105, and it comes with a few notable uh, updates that we've been waiting on for a little bit here. So, before I get into these new features, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And here we go. So one of the first ones we'll go ahead and get into is the split screen. So if we go into the menu, we'll see we have split screen here now. And if we click the split screen, we'll go ahead and turn it into landscape mode. And we get now two different areas where we can have uh, documents open. So the documents work independent of each other. Right now, we, we have the same document open. We can um, change the page within the same document if we want to move through this document, stay on one page, but yet view another. We can also open up a new uh, workbook as well, completely different workbook, and do the same thing. Or even just a clean, um, clear you know a blank note that we can jot down notes and you can annotate in both of these here as such you can write read on one write on another write on both do the highlighting you still get the same gestures so all that stuff works but now you can do it times two the next update here, of course, in conjunction with the split screen, is that we can swap the screens um, around here. So if we want to swap these and have one on the other side versus the other, easy peasy, you can do it now in this update. We can also go ahead and hide these two bars as well. So this is, was kind of a pet peeve for me where I had all this real estate, but yet I had the, this bar open on the screen. Let's go into full screen here. And when you're doing this here, if you had an actual document that had text or you were scrolling up through your text and reading, you can see some of the time that bar can get in the way. So now they've added a high toolbar button here in the menu and it clears the top toolbar and also the the number um, uh, where it showed the page numbers at the bottom as well so this works in split screen as well so if we go into split screen you see now we have two toolbars but because these are independent of each other you do have to go into each menu for each uh, page and then hide the two bars if you want them both to be gone. But this is a really good feature because now you have much more real estate that you can work with and you can fully take advantage of the, the, you know, the large screen and the canvas. Now, another update that came with this particular firmware or is that, or feature that comes with this update is that now when you close a page let's go into full screen one more time and before if I was to close this particular document here um, and go into another one it would open to the first page within this document so now we can see here that we're on page 20 and if I go and open up another document in my library then come back to this this document we'll see that you go into here this is just a document here with one page in it and if I go back to the library go into oh let me go into welcome hit it too soon go into the welcome document workbook there it opens back up to page 20 so this is really good um, again helps with the efficiency of using the device 
to where before you would have had to uh, either leave a bookmark or remember which page you were on when you go back into the document and then you could either swipe through to get to that page or hit the page view here that shows you all the pages and then swipe to the actual page that you want to be on. Another feature that comes with this update is now when you add a new page it will append to the page um, or um, add itself after the page that you're on. So if we go into here let's tap hold add the page we'll write on new page and if we go back we'll see that this is the page we were previously on. Now, before this update, that new page would have appended or put itself behind the last page in this workbook. So it would have been, say, 167, and you would have had to go all the way to the end of this document, get that page, and if you needed it to be behind the page here, you would have to drag it and then place it there. And then lastly, they've added um, some new performance to the, the, the actual pen itself. It's improved the, the latency when you're writing. You, I can't really show it here, but it, you know, when you have the device and you're writing on it, it's very noticeable that it performs a lot better. And the pen, the pen latency is not as bad as what it used to be. There's still some latency here. Not sure if you can pick this up on, on the camera, but... But it is a lot better than what it used to be. And actually the performance of the device overall feels a lot more snappier. Um, if you're in, say, a document that has many pages like we do here now, before you used to get this loading. So now when you move from one page to the next, you can see that the pages actually um, come up very nicely and quick. So overall, the performance of the device has gotten a lot better. And lastly, if you go to the home button here, in the settings now, there's a check update. Now this button is, uh, is you click on it and it will check if there's a new update or not and then let you know whether you need to update your system. Um, if not, then it just tells you that you're already up to date. So this, this is a little bit different than going into the menu here, going to settings, and then browsing all the way to general, to system, and then checking to see if you need, uh, there's an update for your device. So it's basically an efficiency gain click the home button, check update, and you're, you're, you're off to the races. So I'd say the device is a lot more um, refined and they've really rounded out the, uh, the, the features in this particular update. And it's only a 1.1 release, so I look forward to see what they come out with next. So what do you think about the updates? Uh, do you like them? Do you think there should have been others that have come out? Um, if there are updates or features that you want to see in any of these updates, go ahead and leave them in the comments. QuirkLogic does look at the, the comments from these YouTube channels. I email them as well. So if you have any updates you want to see on your paper device, go ahead and leave a comment. Okay, so that's it for the video. My name is Anton. Again, if you found this helpful, go ahead and like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.